was. Sure did. Now we'll have the luckiest day ever. Nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> Lucky pajamas? You don't have lucky pajamas, or even pajamas. Huh? We all have pajamas on, and they are lucky. It's true, Gilroy. We even tested it and can prove it. Oh, yeah? How? Hmm. We can all jump rope together. Ready? One, two, Three, go! Huh? <laughs> oh, I don't get it. It worked yesterday, and now we're all wearing the lucky pajamas. <laughs> or the not-so-lucky pajamas. They are lucky. You'll see. I'm sure our luck will give us something great for lunch today. Cream spinach? Green jello? Oh, maybe the lucky pajamas like different foods than us. And now I'll draw one more name to see who else will swing first on the new swings. It has to be one of us. It has to. Gilroy Goat. Huh? No lucky red pajamas. It doesn't make any sense. I'm wearing my lucky red pajamas and nothing's going right today at all. Maybe they're not still lucky. Perhaps they only had some luck and we used it all yesterday. But when something's lucky, it's lucky, right? Maybe they're only lucky at your house. Huh? Now that's it. Only at my house. After school, we can go there and the pajamas will be totally lucky. We'll do everything I did yesterday and we'll have luck. This toast will be perfect. And I throw it over my shoulder and... Um, Llama Llama? What's that smell? No! The toast! I don't get it. Why aren't my lucky pajamas working anymore? What happened to all my luck? I'm sorry, Llama Llama. Yeah, sorry about that. Llama Llama, you actually are very lucky. I don't feel lucky. Nothing went right today at all. I know. And when things don't go right for me, sometimes I don't feel lucky either. But then I remember I have something better and bigger than luck. Better than luck? What's better? I am fortunate. It's better than pajamas or a hat. I'm fortunate to have a wonderful home, friends, and a wonderful son, you. I'm fortunate and lucky to have a mama like you. And great friends, too. And Grandma and Grandpa, and Fuzzy, and sewn up red pajamas. And I'm fortunate and lucky because I have a great skateboard. And I have a lot of art supplies. I have a cool blue nightlight. Yeah, all that stuff. <gasps> we should make a list. And I'm a lucky and fortunate list. Yeah! Now remember, I'm very nearby if you need anything. You're here, Llama Llama. We're playing in the backyard. Bye, Mama. Love you. I love you too, sweetie. Have fun. <laughs> Hi, boys. So glad you could join us for a sleepover. And on Gilroy's chore day, too. Dad. I'll help. I always do at home. Me, too. OK, let's hang these chimes up. Wonderful job, boys. So, ready for dinner? I say we all wash up. I'm extra, extra hungry.
smells extra yummy, right? Yeah, just different from my mama's. <laughs> That's what's so wonderful about sleepovers. We can try new things. Mm. I love Mama Goat's casserole. <laughs> Best potatoes ever. <laughs> Peeled, lightly boiled, coated with some spice. <laughs> Paprika. Oh, very good, Euclid. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Oh. Isn't my mama's fish casserole the best? Yeah, I never had fish casserole. But I do want to try everything here. Oh, I like hearing that. Dig in. Mmm. Oh. Fireflies will light up all night. Amazing little insects. So cool! Fireflies are amazing! So, where are Euclid and I going to sleep? You two get to sleep on these cots. Now, if you boys need anything in the night, we're right down the hall. <laughs> It'll be fine <laughs> sleeping here. <laughs> Up and down and round and round. There's no rush, you've got a brush. Your moms don't see that? Not mine. Huh. I guess everyone does it a little different. But you know what we all do alike, right? is squeaky and lumpy. Mine too. Maybe we should switch. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. We can't go to sleep until we do our monster check. Mm, monster check? It's easy. We count to three, then look under our beds to make sure there aren't any monsters. One, two, three, monster check. <laughs> Looks like we're monster free. But I'm lucky. I always have Blobby to keep me safe during the night. And I have my Fuzzy at home. Right, Euclid? Euclid? <laughs> I'll try, you guys. But I just don't know if I can. You know, the actual doctor visit is never as bad as you imagine. I agree, Llama Llama. You know, I go to the doctors a lot, because I get scraped up from playing too hard. And I used to be scared about going, but one day, Hildy taught me a trick that really works. Tell him what you told me, Hildy. Well, believe it or not, Llama Llama, I used to get scared about seeing the doctor too, even though he's my dad, Dr. Hackney. Really? He is? But then, my doctor dad told me his secret. A mantra. A what? A mantra. It's a thing or sound you say to yourself over and over to make you feel better, calms you down. My dad helped me come up with my own. It goes like this. I'm a happy horsey hero. I'm a happy horsey hero. And this mantra thing works? It does for me and my dad. Okay. I'm a happy horsey. No, no. You have to make one up that fits who you are. A llama. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm a brave little llama. I'm a brave little llama. Hey, I do feel better. Hi, Grandpa. We're Billy and Millie Scarecrow. From Story Island. Billy and Millie. Then that must be the Twisty Maze. Oh. Hmm. Which way should we go? 
that <laughs> way. <laughs> Think about the book. Wait, in the book it said to find the clues. Line up the shoes. That's it, Professor. We start here. Professor. And thank you, Millie and Billy Scarecrow. This is the most fun I've ever had from a book. Where do we go next? Bird Hill. Where is that, Explorer Edwin? Bird Hill was on the side of Story Island with all the trees and grass. Oh, right. Well, that sounds like the park. See any unusual birds, Professor Beatrice? Nah, maybe one weird blue jay I've never seen before. Have a look, Explorer Edwin. I see something near that tree. Mama? Hi, kids. I mean. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Are you Florence Feathers, the magical bird? That's right, I am. You'll find your next clue in the air. Watch the feathers, please, with care. Hmm. Watch the feathers. Huh? Here's the clue. And the sticker. Hmm. My professor brain tells me this looks like an X. This map smells really sweet. You're right, Doctor. Like... Perfume. Just like in Story Island. Remember the clue hidden in the flower field? How will we find an X? It could be anywhere. Maybe we're too far away. Or maybe too close. That's it! Back up, everyone. <gasps> I see it, Dr. Popter and Explorer Edwin. I get it. Purple is Explorer Edwin's favorite color. But where's the clue? Maybe the clue is in the X. Life jackets? Where can you use life jackets? As a doctor, I think it 